<laughs> what? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? Back with a buffalo banger today. We got some beautiful chicken tendies sauced and tossed the best fries ever to do it and i did swing by kfc on the way home and grabbed a side of gravy we got ketchup we got ranch and we got a going flat <laughs> dr pepper which is my favorite state of being of soda i like it when it's just slightly losing its life it's so much better anyways i know that's a little bit, a bit strange but before we do anything more we must pour uh just gonna do it back here behind these tendies uh, I did have these left over from, I made some KFC wraps my way because KFC's always fucking slacking. Ooh, she's real flat. But yeah, KFC's twisters always let me down. The lettuce is always gross green and soggy. They never have tomatoes. It's just let down after let down. So I had to make those for myself. I didn't talk in that video because I was just in a shit mood to be honest. I just wanted to eat and be quiet. Opposite of today, Today I am fired up with the skier super sender and I'm ready to have this meal all whipped from scratch. So she's looking good. Also, I was too lazy to show that on camera today. Some days, I don't know. I just need like a little mental health. Just don't have to do so much <laughs> goddamn filming work and editing work. So today is that day. So these are the... Uh, Cavendish extra crispies with the sun spun ketchup that I was talking about and the gravy from KFC so the best absolute dream meal A trillion percent. On my crave. Come on. Just the best fries in the universe. not be beat oh yeah okay so I'm going clean boy today with these not pure savage but I will show you an up close and personal of this look at that beautiful tender whipped up a little secret hoodie style hot sauce and I think my chicken batter game is getting to the point where it's perfect. Closing in on perfect. Got the valley here. Up close ranch bite for you. No. Mm. You're kidding me. Oh man. That is restaurant. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is on the menu. Right there. Other side. On the menu. <laughs> what? Those are legit too bomb. Way too bomb. Do 
took myself on a little ice hike today. I popped the picture up on Instagram. There's this like crazy huge chunks of blue ice that is smashed up against the shore. So dope. Just took it as like a little mental health day. It was like nine degrees out. Shiny. Cruise, listen to a podcast, got out there, walked out to the ice. People uh, ice fishing and shit. Everybody out there getting their Instagram photo op. As you should. With the wonders of the world. But man, the whole time I was there, I was like walking through the, you got to walk over like deep lake. It's well frozen over though, but it's still a little bit like it messes with your mind as you're walking out to the ice. But there's like snowmobiles and like quads and shit. So super safe. But the whole time I was just thinking, I'm like, I'm like, man, you could shoot the sickest music video out here. Especially if I had a couple toys. Have like a dude in like the, what are the things called? Like a side-by-side. -side. Just with the camera and like coming up on the side and you're just on like a snowmobile or something. Just the scenery alone, that ice would be such a dope additive to a music video. And then my immediate next thought was like, damn, like I wish I wasn't such a solo riot. Like I wish I had homies or people that would like be down to like do that. And also like it sucks being like a poor artist with songs and visions, but it's like you just can't afford to actually create your vision. <laughs> Cause like I do know some guys in town, but they're professionals. They gotta get paid. This isn't some high school shit where it's like, hey man, like, you're trying to build your portfolio, like, I'm trying to, like, do some shit too, like, why don't we help each other by creating art together? That, that phase is well past. And these people are, like, established professionals, so it's just like... You gotta pay to play, right? Which for videographers and possibly renting some shit like ain't cheap. And that's the biggest bummer, being poor with a vision. <laughs> this struggle is so real. So many people who are like creative and artistic face it. It's like, how much money am I willing to dump into this thing that will probably give me diminishing returns, if any at all. 
but that's the gamble with creating like art and music and stuff it's like it could actually create something crazy for you too like I think that's part of the the like the addictive gene of being creative and artist and and like music and video and stuff like that is that it's kind of like you're perpetual you're perpetually playing a lottery and that keeps life like mad interesting like on its toes cuz You can't forecast everything in it, right? You can only make the thing, make it fun and feel cool while you're doing it, and then put it out and then like, see what happens. So many times I'm like, Do I just swallow my pride and my shame <laughs> and crowdfund? Like, hey, help me make this video. If you believe in me. But I feel really weird about that. Just because there's a huge stigma of like, around crowdfunding and trying to get people to help you like that. It's like, oh, you lazy piece of shit. <laughs> Figure it out yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know if it necessarily has anything to do with being like lazy per se. just interesting because some people do it and they like they see no problem with it there's like I don't know like I'm I have this audience I have I I've shown them my capabilities in this arena but I'm lacking resources this is a way to like have them be part of the fuel of my journey to come to fruition, right? And then when it does come to fruition, they can sit back and watch the product and be like, I was part of that in some way. So there is like a value reward, but there's also the personal element of like, you know, do I really deserve this <laughs> like is this ethically sound or morally sound or like because the world's narrative is like grind and get it and fucking don't sleep <laughs> and take out a loan or get a grant or like whatever just like find any way to do it by yourself no handout <laughs> is the hard-ass narrative of the world, but I don't see there, that there's anything wrong with people who genuinely want to help, helping somebody who wants to create something. So that's such a weird world to dabble in. And uh, I certainly have never felt comfortable enough to do it yet. The closest I'm getting is the subscriber-sponsored request, and that's that's a value exchange. That's a definite, like... Here is your video for you. Your name's in it. I made the meal you requested and I acknowledge you personally. You know what I mean? So that's like a definite, it feels more like a concrete business transaction. Whereas a crowd fund is like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> super weird. But yo, oh man, those chicken tenders were. So, 
speechless, really. I guess I'll have to do a little tutorial on that one because they were that good. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.